Hey guys, what's going on? It is Kiwi, and today I'm going to show you how to speed up your computer and help optimize it for the best possible performance. So, let's get started. First, you're going to hit the Start button, hit All Programs, and scroll down a bit and find Accessories. You can do this in XP or Vista with similar ways. I'm sure you can figure it out. Then hit System Tools. Now first, hit Disk Cleanup and choose the hard drive you want to clean off and you would hit OK and Windows would detect any files you don't need or use or like you know old installs of Windows and delete those to help free up a lot of hard drive space that'll help speed up your PC and it'll also help with the next thing to do that really assists it so I'm just gonna exit instead of hitting OK I'm going to follow the same thing as before to get to accessories and system tools. And the next thing is disk defragmenter. You would choose the disk, hit analyze disk, and then defragment disk. Or you can just hit defragment disk. And basically what it does is, you know, uh, the best way I can explain it is say you have a file here, file here on your hard drive of course not in this way so you have a few files and they're all spread out because of the way Windows installs your programs and all that basically what it does is it rearranges them and moves them together to help optimize your computer and speed things up by having your files together instead of spread apart now the third thing you can do to help really help especially around startup is hit your start button then type run and hit enter and then type in msconfig go to boot choose your OS and check off no GUI boot and hit apply basically what that does is it eliminates visual styles when Windows first starts up so instead of having all these effects on screen like the Windows logo, whatever you want to call it, glowing and all that stuff. It eliminates that stuff and makes just a black screen up here. And that can really help speed up your boot time. So you would hit apply, but there's a few more things we can do. You can go into services and disable any services that you don't need. Such as one is super fetch. I know in Vista that was a big problem with users that have less than two gigabytes of RAM. So basically you would find Superfetch, uncheck it, hit apply. And what that does is it preloads programs that you frequently use. It really doesn't help much. And the third thing, or not the third thing, we're way beyond third. You know what I'm saying. Go to startup and uncheck any programs that you don't need right as you start up so leave your antivirus checked because you probably want that but things like MSN, Steam, Java, Adobe Acrobat, Adobe Reader, Adobe CS4 Service Manager, QuickTime and iTunes you don't need those when you start up so that will help speed up your boot time when you first start up your computer and overall speed up the performance of your computer so you would hit apply OK and it's gonna ask for a restart I'm not gonna restart right now you may want to restart right now but other than that things you can do to help speed up your computer is hit start run percent temp percent in the run bar hit OK and delete all these files. They look like they're important files, but they're really not. They're just temporary files. Some you won't be able to delete because they're in use. But that can help free up a lot of space on your hard drive. I've heard of people deleting over four gigabytes of files out of that. So that's pretty much it. So basically, run disk cleanup, run disk defragmenter, and do your MS config. 
go to boot, disable GUI boot, disable services you don't need, and disable startup programs that you don't need. And that will greatly improve the performance of your PC and possibly help extend the life of your PC in the long run. So thanks for watching, subscribe, rate, comment, all that stuff. And the background of my desktop will be in the description as always. So see you next time.